Good morning. Today we are starting a little bit of a project. Uh, we've been working in Onshape now for a few months and hopefully your ability to use Onshape has improved. Today we will be working backwards from what we normally do. So here's the setup. Let's suppose that I have bought a piece of furniture and uh, when I opened up the kit I realized that there was a part missing. So I called the factory and I said, hey, uh, I need you to send me this part, and they asked me to pay for shipping. I'm not about to do that, so instead, I 3D modeled the part, and I can 3D print it on my printer to get the part faster than the hardware supplier could get it to me. So, today, your task is to 3D model this angle bracket. Now, this angle bracket is going to be given to you in the form of a multi-view drawing. So on this multi-view drawing, we have four different views. We have the front view right here. We have the top view, which is very similar. And we have the side view. Now, as you can see, this document is fully dimensioned and it has all of the specifications that you will need in order to create this model. Now, in the end, it should end up looking like this. But I want to go through a couple of the details to make sure that you do this correctly. Now, I'm using holes here, and I will show you how to create a hole in Onshape in just a moment. Um, but I'm also using a fillet. And not only that, but I'm using two different fillets. So you'll notice on this interior cut here, I've got a 0.1 uh, uh, inch fillet that I've applied. And on the other side, the exterior side, I've got a 0.2 inch fillet. Just to smooth that, that straight edge just a little bit. The other important thing is that all of these, uh, the bracket is an eighth of an inch thick, 0.125. And all of the dimensions are given here. So 0.813 is the overall width. 1.625 is the total height which by the way, um, 0.813 is half of the height. The holes here are the same dimensions uh, from, from the top view, so it should be identical on the top plate and the, and the vertical plate. So the bottom hole is a half inch from the bottom of the, of the bracket, and the top hole is 0.375 away from the top, which is 3 eighths of an inch. All of the holes are 0.25 inch diameter holes, and they are through holes, which means they go all the way through. And for these holes, we're just going to use a simple hole. But again, it should end up looking like this. Those are the important dimensions that you will need. Again, the dimensions here are the same for, for the bottom plate and the top plate quarter inch holes that are through, half inch from the bottom, three eighths of an inch from the top. Now I do want to make sure that I show you uh, a couple of the tools that you're going to need for this. So again, number one, you're going to use the fillet tool and you'll, you'll use the hole tool. So I'm going to uh, go into Onshape here and I'm going to create a new document and this is what you will name your document for this assignment. So you are going to first name it your class. Let's assume that you are in first period. Unless you're not, then you would put 2A. You're going to put your last name, your first name, today's date, which you will be doing this assignment on the 3rd, I believe. And the name of this file is going to be angle bracket. Again, please make sure that you name every file that you create in this class using this naming convention. So I'm going to open the file, and this is where you will create the file based on the multi-view drawing that is posted in the assignment page. You can also use this recording as a reference. I do want to show you how to use the two tools that are required for this assignment, so I'm just going to make a quick 3D model that shows you how to use those tools. Again, this is not the assignment for today. This is just a quick example that I will use to show you each of the shapes. So here I've just made this rough rectangle here. 
So the first tool that you'll need is the fillet tool, which will be up here in your menu. It should be the cube with the rounded edge. So you just click on the shape that you want to apply that curve to. You can apply it to multiple faces at the same time if you want to. And this is where you'll change the radius. So remember for this model, we have two radii. One of them is 0 0.1, which if you see, when I change that number, I get a much smaller curve on this model than I do if I have 0.2. So that's how you use a fillet. And to use the whole tool, I'm going to create a new sketch on the top of this model. And I'm going to place circles on this diagram here. And I'm just going to put four of them. And I'm going to make them all have a diameter of an inch. Again, we always want to make sure that our drawings are fully constrained, which means that we give them the proper rules and sizes in order for our sketch to be fully constrained. So let's make it so that this guy is an inch from there. And uh, and let's see. Nope, that's not what we want. I'm going to use a construction line. And sometimes we need to kind of use construction lines to in order for our dimensioning to work. So I'm going to make it so that the bottom of the center of this is an inch away from my construction line. And I'm going to apply the same rules there to all of these. So this is an inch. And this is an inch. And this is an inch. And this is an inch. Same with this guy. All right, so now we've got this fully constrained shape here. So I've got these holes. Remember, we made these an inch in diameter. So now I'm going to use the hole tool, and I can select the center of these holes to place the hole. Now, by default, it sets it to a quarter inch diameter, so we can always change this value to whatever we need. So for this hole, if we want them to match the, the holes that we sketched, we'd change the diameter to one inch. So that's how to use the fillet tool and how to use the hole tool. So if we go back to my reference, which is in my folder here, if we go back to my reference, which is called the angle bracket, your model should end up looking like this once this loads. Again, it should look like this when it's all said and done. So you should have four holes that have the same spacing on the bottom of the bracket as they do on the top. They should be at a right angle with a fillet on bottom and a fillet on top. All of the dimensions that you need for this are given on the multi-view drawing that I have posted on Schoology. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, but please make sure that you get this assignment done. I'll see you later.